Pierzo's midrange models have become famous since the 403 model. Additionally as a result of their popularity, just 1.7 million of the 406 units are indisputable. It will be more harder for the successor to build on this accomplishment as a result. About 20 years ago, in April 2004, the 407 went on sale. However, there is debate over how it looks. Some people think the design is overly clunky and even refer to it as a tank. The car's design is highly curved, which more closely resembles the smaller Peugeot 307 in terms of appearance. Its face features a big mouth and eyes that seem angry. Both supporters and detractors of these modifications to the more traditional appearance of the earlier versions exist. At introduction, the 407, weighing a minimum of 1,475 kilograms, is offered with the 1.8-liter, 116-horsepower petrol engine. This is followed by the 2.0, which has 136 horsepower, and the 2.2, which has 158 horsepower. Even a six-cylinder is available, the 3.0 V6 with 211 horsepower. Popular nowadays are the diesel vehicles with 109A 163 horsepower. This place also has a V6. 204 horsepower is generated by its 2.7 liter engine. It will be replaced in 2009 with the 3.0 liter that produces 240 horsepower. The QA tell the copyright will be the ostensibly most gorgeous 407 starting in December 2005. In contrast to the previous series, it and the sedan will be produced at Peugeot and Rennes not Pine and Frena in Turin. The 407 QA tilt the copyright, at 4.82 meters in length, is distinguished by its elegant design and functional features. The 407 QA tilt the copyright, with its potent engines and premium equipment, carries on the Lion brand's rich legacy of opulent and athletic Grand Tourism two-door cars.